Finally tonight, have you ever listened to a sonata by Hyundai or demanded an encore from Buick? The music cars make is no accident. Here's Chris Van Cleve with the sounds of Motown. It's the symphony of the automobile. All those chirps and dings your car makes carefully in tune. Do you think most people who drive a Lincoln have any sense of how much time you've spent on the noises the car makes? You know, I don't think so. Sean DeGenero is a Ford vehicle harmony engineer. I think it's clipping off too soon. He mixes art with science to find just the right sound. Should we do a medley? So something like our DNA trimer goes da da da, or should it be a monotone, like just a single ding? A decade ago, cars only needed a handful of noises, like a turn signal. But as vehicles get smarter, the beeps, ticks, and tocks number in the dozens and include new warnings. With the forward collision warning, we had to add a lot of harsh frequencies in there and knocking sounds. And the idea is, we need your attention now. We need your attention immediately. Everything has an aesthetic. Alfonso Albaisa from Infinity. The sound of the door, this thunk, this conveys a sense that the body has a rigidity, that the, the car itself is well engineered. GMC even worked with Hollywood sound engineers. And like making a movie, the ideal chime can take up to a year to produce. A year is a long time on a ding. It is. It is. But it's going to be there forever. We want to make sure that it's a positive experience and that you're not walking away going, oh, I could never buy a Lincoln product again because they screwed up that chime and it was so irritating. The line between irritating and informing, now part of the sound of the open road. Chris Van Cleve, CBS News, Dearborn, Michigan. And those are the sounds of the CBS Evening News for tonight. For all of us at CBS News, all around the world, good night.